To help us get the most from Caddy, we can change the way our mouse operates to be more in keeping with the way we wish it to work. So let's have a look at what we have. Uh, we have uh, buttons left click, right click and the scroll wheel. So if we just use the scroll wheel we can zoom in and zoom out just rolling it backwards and forwards. Uh, we can click it down and hold and move backwards and forwards and just panning around. We can also depress it and, and let it go again and we get the custom menu. A menu which we can customize by uh, adding our favorite tools to it and we'll find videos for, for how to do that elsewhere. But let's have a look at how we can customize the, the buttons on the mouse here. So we go to settings and we go to mouse button setup and in here this is where we choose what we want to happen when we, we left click for instance. So we'll choose object selection or object properties or even pattern selection or group selection there or none. So I'm going to leave it on object selection we can see left double click will give us a selection of a pattern or a group. We have context sensitive menu or snap menu on the right click and then on the right double click maybe I would choose to put snap menu. We also have a command ID here but we'll come on to that one in just a moment. So we'll OK to that and we see that we can pick individual objects or double click, double left click that is to, to produce a selection of the, the entire group or pattern. If we right click we have our context sensitive menu if we right double click then we have our snap menu. If we choose something there and go for our context sensitive menu again we'll notice that in addition to the option end command which finishes part of a command so maybe closing off a polygon we have an abort. Now abort will close off the entire command so working in, in much the same way as, as the escape key on the keyboard does. So let's have a, a further look at the mouse button setup and we'll notice that we have under here the option for a specific command. So what command is that? How do we identify what the command ID is? Well if we pick a tool, maybe in this case the polyline tool, the P-line, we go to utilities, system and show command ID and it tells us it is 10420. So now we can enter that figure into our command ID number so 10420 OK to that right double click and we're starting to draw our polyline. 